Okay, everyone, so hello. In today's video, we're gonna make this super cool auto smelter on my map, and it is pretty easy and works on any version of Minecraft, including Job Edition, Bedrock Edition, and of course, Pocket Edition, which is basically Bedrock Edition. But, anyways, let's get started. So, here are the items that you will need to make this auto smelter possible. First, six checks six hoppers and then two furnaces you can use any types of furnaces including something called a smoker and also a blast furnace but to, to go on the basics this is what you need so you can add any decorations if you want and i'll show you how to build so first you will need all of this. So this is a pretty basic design for a furnace and it is also very fast. It is so faster than a normal furnace. Of course, it is not a super smelter as it is only two times faster. Most super smelters are actually ten times faster. This design is only two times two times faster than a normal furnace because it has this. So Here's how you built it. So first, you're gonna need to place the chest like this. And then, you're gonna need to put your hoppers like so. Then, you're gonna need your furnaces on top. Sorry about that. Right here. And then, let's just copy the design from there. You need to put your hoppers and here these hoppers are where are where the coal or whatever fuel source you need will go and this is where you put it right here the chest and then on top is the items that you're gonna smell that's why you need to put a hopper on top too And that's basically what it looks like. So you can add any design that you want. For mine, it just looks like this. But... And then now, we put items that we use. So that you can demonstrate how it works. Right here, you put the items that you want to smelt. Raw iron. As you can see, it immediately dropped. And now, we need to divide the skull by two. we go and then we have to put some in here and some over here and like so that's what it looks like and then after a little bit of time you irons and just as fast as how much a smelter can do a normal furnace can do so this it works pretty well and for beginners. And if you are just starting over in your world, this is the best smelter to be used. In fact, in my old survival world, this is the same smelter that I have used. It is pretty efficient and it only needs a bit of iron and all the other stuff you basically get while you just start. So yeah. Of course, you do need a lot of hoppers, but then again, you can make a simpler design. So, this is the simpler design right here. So basically, this auto smelts your item. Which is just the same, but it is not as fast. But it is very... I can save you a lot of... Of iron. So this is the design. Oh, wrong. It put here. And you have to put your chest right there, and this hopper goes right over here. And this is the simpler design of it, so let's just check if it works or not. And let's see. Go. And then 
that it works. You can even add chests over here. Yeah, but I just didn't show it. I'm like, yeah, right here. It's really unnecessary to put a chest over here. But if you really want to, you can. Right over there. And then you just have to put your chest. Whatever chest you want. Double chest. There you go. Look at that. It's pretty slow. And you can just do it the, the conventional way. But, you know, it can save some time. And there you go. Here is our two designs for our smelter. Hope you enjoyed the video. And just comment whatever... Whatever forms you need for your survival world and in the next video, we might include it. So, see you in the next video everyone and make sure to like and subscribe and goodbye.